Hey guys, um, for the last few days we have actually been at this campsite while I've been working out of town. Um, we're at Cross Country Campground in Denver, North Carolina. I had a couple meetings um, at McGuire Nuclear Station which is nearby. So we try to find somewhere that was convenient where we can bring the camper, bring Andrew, which she's on the camera right now, and the dogs. So this was somewhere that was close by and so let's give you a little bit of thoughts of what we thought about it. So Cross Country Campground is a RV resort. Um, here we paid $38 a night and that was with our Good Sam's discount. Regular price is $41. This includes full hookups for water, sewer, and electric. So we had everything. This is the first time we've actually camped and had all, the res all of the amenities. We also had a bathhouse and bathroom nearby. There is a pool for kids. There is a fishing pond where you go fishing with a little pier that has some swings up there and a gazebo just to overlook the water. Let's see here what else they had. They had some tent camping sites where they were not electric but they were very nice and level sites and um, yeah that was the minis here at the campsite but it's also in a good location where you're which we actually did ourselves. We were an hour away from South Mountain State Park. So we took a day, went out there and drove and did a couple of hiking trails there. It was also a half hour away from Lake Norman State Park, which actually we just got back from. So it's at a good location. It was convenient for where I was gonna be working and a couple of places for us to go over here. For the hookups, we had a 30 amp, 110 and 50 amp plug here at our campsite. Well, like I said, with water and sewer, which are all nearby. We had a picnic table, but there was no like hooks for hanging a lantern or hammocks. We did not have a fire pit. Some of the ones in the area do have fire pits, but we didn't have one. So we had all of some, but lacking on some other things. So I've talked a little bit about the things that we did like. Here's some things we didn't like. For one, we never used our picnic table, even when we was gonna film today. Um, the picnic table is stationed at the sewer hook up for the campsite right beside us so you can guess what it smells like. All the campsites that we've looked at have been pretty dirty. Um, ours is littered with water balloons and Legos, what we have found here. Um, dogs, we have a lot of people in the area where we are who basically don't follow the leash rule for the campsite, have their dogs running around everywhere. So we've had our neighbor's dog, a couple spots down, come around here terrorize our dogs while they're in here trying to be good. They're running around outside and tormenting them. We've also had uh, here, there's a lot of year round RVers here. So um, we've had a lot of the teenagers who are year round campers on golf carts, which we have a, tri a driveway right behind us. So right here in the back there's a good circle loop so they've been taking their golf carts around here at all times of day and just go around and around and around and around so yeah after the second loop it gets really annoying so we had that um what else did we have i'll have to get back with you in one second oh yes here there is no shade. We basically had our air conditioner running most of the time here because it's in complete sunlight. And also the campsites are very close together. So for us, that's a real turnoff because we prefer the state parks where you're a little bit more secluded. The campsites are not always stacked on each other. Was actually laying in bed last night and was hearing more RVs coming up beside us and getting into their spots. And that's cause they're so close together. A couple of things that are here that we haven't taken advantage of, and that's because it's not in our interest or we don't have time for it, and that was a miniature golf 18-hole uh, course, an arcade, a playground play area, and... There's a lounge. A lounge, that's right. Whenever you go into the office, there's actually a lounge area just to the left of it where you can sit down there, sit there and relax, but that's all the way at the very entrance of the park, and we're at the very back of it and probably one of the reasons why we looked at this this place not just for the cost but for one other thing and that was the wi-fi 
we actually, with me at work, Andrew is intended to do some other things that would involve on the computer, and it said Wi-Fi over the entire park. No, not where we are. I actually had to connect to the Wi-Fi halfway into the park, and walking, I walked to see where it was. Wi-Fi disconnects about 100 feet away, so this whole back area doesn't even have Wi-Fi access, so that was a really big letdown because I know that we had plans of things we wanted to do while we were here using the computer and Wi-Fi that we were not able to do at all. So when it comes to our thoughts on cross-country campground, we probably would not come back. There's a couple other campgrounds very close by where if I need to come back for meetings and Andrew wanted to come with me, we'll bring the camper. We'd probably go check those out first. If you have kids where you'd be using the amenities that are here, like I said, the pool, miniature golf, the arcade stuff, then it probably would work for you, especially if you don't mind the close proximity to other campers. But for us, we prefer being outside, being able to hike. The dogs, we want to go everywhere with the dogs. We want them to be with us. We don't want to leave them in the camper where they're all alone. So definitely, we're, if we have a preference, we're gonna stick to state parks or places where we can still do those same things and have them with us. So pretty much cross country, it had its good things. Like I said, proximity to everywhere, it's in a very good location. It's just, it's not the campground for us. So if you have any questions about cross country campground or if you've been here, let us know down in the comments section. But thanks for joining us.